Lockie McCaffrey told me that the Brumbies is the only place he's ever played where the guys who weren't in the match day 23 were just as eager to, to help the team and improve and, and were you know willing to work hard and not not kicking stones basically um, for not than any other place he's ever been. You, you've been there a long time. Is it something that's just happened naturally or is it something that that uh, you know the players, the coaches, people who've been there have tried to you know to push this this or cultivate this positive hardworking culture yeah. that you guys seem to have there? You have, you have to work. It, it doesn't come naturally. I mean, most people don't deal with disappointment well. It, 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 that's human nature. So I, I don't get selected this week. I thought I could have. I thought I should have. I thought I've trained well. I don't get selected. I don't do... I, I, who, who deals with that well? Who says, oh, well, happy days? So, so you, you, you've, got to, you've got to actively develop that culture. So you've got to have people responsible, either in, in your non-23... And, and, and then you've got to have people in the 23 and your leaders who recognise the value of those people. And, 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 and we would always, I know Alan or, or somebody would, in that circle at the end of our uh, execution session, would always thank the non-23 for their, for their efforts in preparing the team. So, so it gets recognised weekly. And, uh, and I, I do think... Again, it's it's really important that, uh, to the in terms of your head coach providing um, a good feedback. To, so, so I, I mean, I think Dan's fantastic. So he 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 would talk to every every person who doesn't get selected or every person who in and out or whatever. So so he he get them up and whether it's one minute or a five minute conversation, he's just so thorough in making sure that he's done a face to face. With every person, so so, and that person agree disagree again. That's that's up to you, but you've had a face to face with your head coach, um, and you've had an opportunity to make a couple of points, and he's made a couple of points, and we move on. Then we have to have an environment where where the twenty three need to win on the weekend, and we've all got to contribute to that. So you have to work hard on it, and there's there's lots of moving parts. Your leadership group, your head coach. Uh, you, know, you know, whether it's your, your, your leaders in the forwards, you know, we're doing, um, you know, guys are doing opposition line outs, you know, your, your tight heads trying to, to emulate what Taniella Tupo does, et cetera, et cetera. All, all you know, guys have got to, they've got to do the work, they've got to understand and, and, and they've got to prepare the team. But it, 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 has, it gets worked on uh, every week by the processes that are in place to, get, to give them feedback, to give them understanding, it won't make you happy, and you might, you might leave at the end of the day and say, "Fuck, I, I don't agree." Yeah. But in that training time, it, that you've done the most you can, and you've conducted yourself around here with your with your chin up, your chest out. Uh, I, I remember when I was over, over at Gloucester, and look, a couple of guys, you know, they, you know, they didn't like not getting selected, and you know, boys go for coffees, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, there was one guy they used to. To, to sort of laugh about a bit that was it was never going to have a cappuccino with a bloke it was always a sappuccino like he just sap sap the whole group because he'd be constantly whinging about where he was in the scheme of things and then if that happens who can fix that the players that he's talking to the players that he's sapping with right yeah. and, and that's where you, you, your squad has to take responsibility so what's what is the strength of your leadership group what is the honesty within your leadership group is, is yeah. that something you educate them on, Laurie? Because absolutely, they're absolutely. they're all young men, and and you know, I was I was an idiot when I was twenty. I'm I'm still an idiot. Yeah. Um, but but is that something that you guys will sit down and, and and teach people how to actually work through that? Absolutely, Ab- absolutely. Uh, uh, to to make making sure that 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 you do you do deal with things that you don't that that you don't just ignore things. So. It, 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 if, if people are, are sapping in our environment to, to give them, it, it's not so much a strategy, they'll deal with it in their own way. But, but the understanding is that we can't let it happen. We, can't, yeah. we, we cannot let that happen. So uh, everybody will have a slightly different strategy. Some people will be more confrontational. Some people will, will uh, go on, you know, send him a, send him a WhatsApp or, 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 or grab him later or something, but, but it has to be dealt with. It must be dealt with because it, it, 
it's, it's not positive for our environment. So the understanding that when you come into the leadership group, that that's important. But even if you even if you've got four guys who aren't in a leadership group and someone starts, you know, putting everything down, then then it, you know, educate the group to say, well, well, I'll give you an ear for thirty seconds, but then we, we you know we, we've got to move on. That that's not that's not making anybody better.